In this ukulele video, I'm gonna answer the question, can you play ukulele with a pick? All right, welcome to You Look Like The Pros. I'm Terry Carter. And if you're new to the channel, make sure, subscribe, hit that bell notification. You don't miss a single lesson here. We do reviews, we do tutorials, we do challenges, we do giveaways, and we do cool videos like this. Can you use a pick on your ukulele? I don't know. I'm gonna talk about the pick. I'm gonna show you that you can actually, but I'm also gonna show you the difference between if you're just using your fingers versus using a pick. All right, sound good? Let's dive into this. What is a pick? So a pick is something you see a lot more in the guitar world. So here's one various pick. I have a whole bunch of them here. Matter of fact, I just got them in. I got a bunch of different designs for you collect the pros. And if you want one, store.youcollectthepros.com is a way place to get not only the picks, but a great ukulele as well. So um, I come from the guitar background. That was my, my long time I was an LA studio musician, I played guitar, and when I switched to ukulele, I realized really people weren't playing with the pick. What are they doing? They're usually strumming with their finger, they might be doing a little thumb action, they might be doing a little, a little finger picking, but you don't really see a lot with a pick. Why not? Hmm. I don't know. Can you use a pick? Absolutely you can. So. The reason is I think it's just traditionally you don't use a pick when you're playing ukulele. I think that has to do with the sound. And I think it just has to do with you grab the instrument. You don't have to grab a pick or anything. You just grab it and you can start playing. But I you absolutely can play with a pick. I'm going to give you a few advantages also of playing with a pick. All right. So let me grab a couple of picks here. I got them right here. All right, so let's grab this one. This is one of the uh, You Collect the Pros design one right here. You can see the shape of them. This is a pretty standard pick shape. I think this one is made of a celluloid. No, this is just like kind of a, a plastic. This is kind of like based off the Fender picks material. If you like the Fender picks, which I do like, um, I'll grab the celluloid in a second. Anyway, you're basically going to grab it with your thumb and your index finger. You want to leave that tip exposed right there. And where you grab it is kind of up to you. Some people like it a little lower. Some people like a little higher, but you don't want to grab it where it's too flabby or if it's too tight where you don't see enough of this tip here of the pick. All right, so you just want to kind of grab it in the middle and you just have to have like a, a medium grip. Don't choke it, ah, don't choke it, or not too light because it won't slip. But um, you might notice as you practice with a pick, and I, what, why not? Go get a pick. Store that you click the pros and just play around with it for a while. See if you like the sound. Um, I'll show you again the difference between these sounds. But anyway, just grab it and then you just, you just play. So if you're just going to strum, Matter of fact, you can just strum in the same area you would normally strum your ukulele, just right here. The tip or the key with strumming, not only with your fingers, but with the pick, is don't be too stiff here. You want to let, let the pick do its work, right? Let the pick have that nice, loose, relaxed sound. Now, strumming wise, let's see the difference. I'll strum a few chords with the pick and then I'll go back to my finger and then back and forth a few times so you can really hear the difference between a pick. By the way, this one, this is about a medium pick right here. So you can see it's a, a little bit flexible. They have light picks, which are light picks or, uh, or thin picks. They're a little bit more flexible, good for strumming. And then they get heavy. You can have a heavy, you can have a, a extra heavy. So it all depends on what you like. I like a medium pick for a lot of things. And then if I'm doing a little bit more picking, a little bit more picking than I do like a little bit of a heavier pick, but this one right here is a medium pick. All right, pick, finger, pick, finger. Let's see what happens. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I'm gonna grab a different pick here. 
I'm gonna grab this one right here. Can you see that? What is the difference? What did you hear? I'll talk more about it, my opinion, or what really is sound-wise going on, but leave a comment below on what you think of how does the pick sound, how does the finger sound, and do you prefer one or the other, okay? All right, so that was doing a little bit of strumming. Now, let me grab let me grab one of these. This is called the, the celluloid pick, and it's, it's this one's kind of cool. It's like a, a black Tolex here. Um, anyway, this is going to give you a little bit of a different sound. So pick material. I mean, there's like wood picks out there. There's metal picks. There's there's like finger picks out there. There's all kinds of different picks. So you just want to experiment with the different sizes, different shapes, the different thicknesses, and just trying to find one that you like. Now, does it make a difference if you're playing single notes as well? Or if I use my thumb. Pick. Fingers. And the thumb. The fact that I was able to play that same thing that many times, that that's a win. <laughs> that's a win right there for me. But anyway, did you notice the difference again with the single notes, with the pick? Even with the fingers and even with the thumb, there was even a difference in the tone, right? In the quality of the sound. So yes, you can use a pick and it isn't going to affect the sound. Absolutely, it's going to. So anyway, thanks for smashing that like button. I do appreciate that. All right. Now, the pick. When you're using a pick, oh, well, there it is. Notice how the, the sound It's a little bit brighter, right? It kind of cuts a little bit more. You kind of lose a little bit of that warmth. Yeah, so you do lose a little bit of that warmth, but what's nice about the pick, I'm just gonna grab some random picks here. Look at this one. That one's cool right there. Don't forget store.youcutthepros.com. But what I do like about a pick is it definitely cuts through more. Right, you definitely get a little bit more of that trebly sound. You lose a little bit of the bass, but you got a, some nice clarity with it, whether you're doing a strumming. Ah. <laughs> but you can get some nice speed with it. So um, I think the pick has its applications. What you want to do, the sound you're wanting, and uh, you know, just to mix it up a little bit. You don't have to use the pick all the time, but it's it's a change of pace. You don't always have to use your fingers. You might want to use a pick, and especially if you're a guitar player, that's probably going to become second nature if you're already used to playing a pick. So is it standard that you play a pick with the ukulele? Absolutely not. Most people don't. Can you play the ukulele with the pick? Absolutely, you can. Just remember, there's all kinds of sizes to pick. There's all kinds of thicknesses. There's all kinds of material that picks are made of, and they all, they all give you a different tone and a different... Uh, timbre from the instrument. So that might be nice. Mix it up a little bit, okay? But anyway, if you're digging what we're doing, check out youcollectopros.com. That's my instructional site. We got courses up there. I'm going to teach you all kinds of stuff. Jazz, blues, music, reading, strumming, songs, all kinds of stuff. We also have a great premium membership. Don't worry. We got free stuff up there as well. Just check it out, youcollectopros.com, and come be part of the Pros nation. So anyway, are you sold on a pick? Are you sold? <laughs> Are you sold on a pick? I don't know. Just go grab some. Give it a shot. Let me get these out because I'm going to scrink crinkle them too much. Go check them out. Store.collectopros.com. Uh, and if you like what we're doing here, uh, oh, by the way, I meant leave a comment below. Do you like a pick? Are you sold on trying with a pick? I hope you are. Just go try them. They're kind of fun. Anyway, uh, if you dig what we're doing and want to find out more here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, but you can also find us at Instagram. That's at youcollectopros.com. We have a great Patreon page as well, and then also the store and the website. So that's going to do it. Hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate, I appreciate, appreciate you being here. Thanks. Take care of yourself. Be safe, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>